Mike Gleason with Indie Comics Relay, and I'm back with another comic book review. Uh, before I get into the review, just a quick reminder that my Mighty Mascots Indiegogo campaign is still active through In Demand, and you can contribute to it up until, I guess I close it down. Um, the issue four uh, started production this week. And the artist is already hard at work at producing pages. So as far as I know, I'll keep it open for the foreseeable future. So um, if you haven't contributed yet and you want to get in on it, you can get all the early issues too, which is nice. So I'll put a link in the description. But anyways, uh, this week's comic review is um, Wind by Boom Studios. And that's W-Y-N-D. The creative team is James Tinian the Fourth and Michael Dylanas, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, I kind of picked up this one um, mostly because of uh, James Tinian. Um, you know, I've, I've been enjoying his DC work, uh, especially like Justice League Dark. And I think his Batman run's been fantastic. It's been a, a nice uh, change of pace from uh, Tom King's uh, snoozer of a run. Um, but anyways, I picked this up. Um, I had no idea what the story was. Um, it's sort of like, you could tell it's um, definitely highly influenced by uh, the films of Hayao Miyazaki. Um, who did like Spirited Away and uh, Castle in the Sky and and uh, Howl's Moving Castle, things like that. Um, down to the look of the artwork and the kind of storyline it is. Um, as a first issue, I found it a little dull because not a lot happens. Um, there's a lot of setup. Um, it's about this kid who he uh, works for, in this like restaurant within this fantasy kingdom, and um, you know it has like a, definitely a lot of staples of Miyazaki stuff, like food and like you know colorful characters, and basically um, you know he goes out um, and you get to see a little bit of this world. You know, there's this this character that they keep referring to with the bandaged face. And um, it's just a, you know, a weird kingdom of uh, characters. I'm not sure, you know, like, like I said, they, they give you a lot of fluff for a first issue. And I'm not terribly certain where this is going. Um, you know, it seems to be hinting at a larger storyline. Um, I think from what I understand, it's five issues. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it was five bucks for the first one. I'm not sure if the, the, the rest of the issues are going to be that much as well, but you know, I like Miyazaki, but I'm not sure if I like this comic. It, like I said, it's not bad, but it's not great either. So, um, I guess if you're curious if you're a fan of Miyazaki or um, Tiny James Tinian, you may enjoy it. Um, so it might be worth a pickup. Um, the artwork is good. You know, it's just it just um, just didn't grab me. Um, and you know, it's kind of sad for me to say because I I am a fan of both of those. Um, but maybe you know. Um, We'll see when number two comes out. Sometimes I, I'm saying that I might not get it now, but uh, sometimes when I'm sitting there looking at it on the rack, I may actually pick it up and we'll see if it gets better. But um, I feel like this one could be good, but it may be one of those uh, series that um, is better when you have all five issues in front of you and you can kind of go through them all at once. So it may be a wait for trade kind of situation. But, um, yeah, so that's my two cents. So, but, um, yeah, that's it for this week's review. Um, join me and Johnny next week as we do another live stream with, uh, a new indie comic guest. 
and uh, we'll just be talking comics and having a good time and hopefully you can join us in the chat and um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe hit the bell for notifications that way you know when we go live or when we add a new video it just helps us grow the channel and um, get more fans so thanks a lot everybody and we'll talk to you soon